Hello, and welcome to Crochet by Natalie Lucille. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful pattern. I've made it into a coaster, but you can make it into anything you want, as big as you want. But look at those colors. Grab three different colors of yarn. And while we do this pattern, I'm going to show you how you can read the pattern written pattern as well as the chart. I'll also type in the pattern in the description box so you can follow along as well. It, this is great for a beginner and grab your yarn, any three colors, and you'll grab your hook. You can use any size hook depending on your pattern. So I'm going to grab my color A And looking at the pattern, you're going to start with your base chain. So it's going to be in multiples of two plus one. So go ahead and start your chain. And then depending on what you're making, you decide how long you want it to be. And this is for me, so I have a, a workstation where I'm working, and so I like to have my morning coffee or my afternoon cold drink. So this is a perfect coaster for me. So I have the link I link that I want. So let's go back to the pattern and just follow row one, which is the wrong side. And again, it will be in the description box. And if you come down to your chart, you can see the chains. And we're working half double crochets. So in, you're going to want to skip two of the chains, which counts as a half double crochet and a chain one. And working in the back ridge, you're going to work one half double crochet. And then you're going to skip one ridge. Well, let's try it again. <laughs> that didn't go how I wanted. Sometimes my yarn split, so I have to kind of do it again. Let's try it one more time. So skip your two and work into the next back ridge of the base chain and then you're going to skip one chain and work a half double crochet chain one and in that same chain stitch work another half double crochet. And this is the pattern you're going to follow along the base chain. So you'll skip one chain and then you'll work a half double crochet, chain one, and then in that same stitch work another half double crochet so it creates a V stitch. And work that all the way across to the end. Once you do get to the end, you'll skip a chain and then in that very last chain stitch of the base chain, you'll work a half double crochet twice. And before you pull up your, I guess your yarn over and draw through, you're going to grab color B and you're going to pull that through. And don't worry about the tails now. You'll be weaving those in in the end. So this is what your pattern should look like so far. Let's go to row two. And you can pause the video as well if you need to see this, but it is in the description box. So here is row two, and you're going to be working double crochets together. So let's um, try and crochet in the screen there we are. <laughs> so
So you're going to chain three. I'm going to have my tail in there just to kind of um, strengthen it, if you will. Turn your work, and in that same stitch, you'll work a double crochet. Chain one, and then you'll come to your chain one in your V stitch. You see that there? You're going to work in that space, so it's going to work a three double crochet together. And then it's just yarn over, and then you're pulling up, and you keep the, the loops on your hook. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all four. So it's chain one. And you're going to go to the next V stitch, and that's where you're going to work your double crochets together. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, draw up, yarn over, draw through two. Repeat. And repeat one more time until you are left with four loops on the hook and you draw through all of those and it creates a nice little cluster chain one and you're going to continue this all down the row when you get to the very end you're going to work a two double crochet together stitch you'll yarn over and draw through all three with your color C and just pull that on through and that switches the colors it's a seamless look and let's look at the next row And then down in the chart, so you're going to chain two, and I just add my tail in there just again to kind of weave it in. And at the very end, everything will be hidden. Any kind of loose tails, yarn, it'll all be hidden. Turn your work, and you will work the half double crochet chain one half double crochet V stitch in that first chain one from row two and come to the next chain one space and you'll work your half double crochet V stitch and you're going to work that all the way across And when you come to the end, you'll work one half double crochet, but before you yarn over and pull up, carry your color A, yarn over and pull it through because we're changing our colors. And that's what your pattern should look like so far. Let's head to the pattern, row four. Let's look at the chart here. There it is, if I can <laughs> film in the screen. Okay. So following the pattern, you're going to chain three, turn your work. And then you're going to work a three double crochet together in that chain one space of the V stitch. Chain one, and then work another cluster in the chain one space of the V stitch. really easy pattern to work. There's just a lot of repetition, but it creates a stunning ending, if you will. And you're 
you're just going to work that across when you come to the end. You're going to work one double crochet, but before you pull that last yarn through, you're going to change to color B. And to pull it through and it changes it seamlessly. Look at that. Look at our pattern for row five. And then come down to the chart or the diagram. <laughs> it's hard to film and point at the same time. We're going to chain two. And then work a, well, if my yarn wouldn't split, there we go, in that same space or stitch, work another half double crochet. And then you'll, in every chain one space from the previous row, you are going to work the half double crochet V stitch. So it's working right in that space. Oh, I yarned over too many times. So there's your half double. The yarn just wants to split. It happens. Chain one, same stitch, half double crochet. And you can see how the pattern starts to come together. And just keep working it well. <laughs> I'll try that again. And the one good thing about crochet is you can easily take it apart and put it back together in like two seconds. So you've come to the end and you're going to work two half double crochets in that last stitch. But remember, we're going to change to color C. So before you pull that through, just kind of grab that and loosely, you don't want to pull it too tight. You just yarn over and that's what your work looks like so far. Let's head to the pattern. Now, after row five, you're just going to continue to repeat rows two through five. So you'll go back up to two and follow the written, or you can come down to the chart and you can look and see how it continues. And again, you're just going to keep working this, everything um, just repeats itself and it becomes such a lovely pattern. And in this kind of pattern, it's really good to use the three colors, um, odd numbers, if you will, because you are carrying your yarn and if you use an uh, an even number, just the two colors or four colors, you have to carry your yarn across the row. So that's why it's a good idea just to use the odd number because you can pick up your yarn at the end of each row, as you've seen me do. And just keep working it across. Remember, all those side yarns will be hidden when you work your border. And now we're just about ready to start the border. I've cut my yarn. It'll all be woven in, but this is what my coaster so far looks like. And I'm going to work my edge. So 
with color A. I'm chaining one and I'm going to turn my work. And this is one of my favorite edgings. You're going to work in the same space, a single crochet, but you're going to wrap it around. So come below the hook, wrap it around all below, and then you're going to pull through. You'll see the effect it creates is beautiful. And so you're just going to be working this sort of edging single crochet all around the top edge and I'll show you how you can do the corners. You're just wrapping it around. Make sure it goes under the hook as you wrap it around because if not it it doesn't have the same effect. Just work it in each stitch. Just got to take your time on it. And that's what it'll start looking like. So let's come to our corner. So this is what the etching looks like so far. Has a nice seamless, bumpy, I love texture. So that's one of my favorites. So when you come to your corner, you can make any corner you want, but I'm just doing it simple. I'm doing a single crochet half double crochet and single crochet all in the same space. And now as evenly as possible, you're going to do the same edging down the side. And at the very end, you'll weave in your loose yarn. But like I said, just as evenly as possible, you'll work that same edging all the way around. There's no rhyme or reason. Just kind of, if you will, eyeball it. I know that's never easy because um, when my grandmother would give me a recipe and I would write it down and she, she didn't know the measurements, she would just say you just, it's by eyeballing it or by feel. Well, that doesn't help. So, but while you're working your edge, just look at it, make sure it's not scrunching up or it's too loose, too tight. And, you know, working down the sides, you always just work as evenly as possible. And those tails make it in the way, but again, you're going to weave them in in the very end. And you won't even see them. It's like magic. And so just keep working around. You can see how it's looking so far. And um, at the very top, I'm just working around my um, tail from the base chain. You can weave it in, you can tuck it, but you can see how you can crochet on top of it. It just hides it. And again, just take your time, work slow. And once you come to the end, you'll work your single crochet, or however you do your corner, but mine is the single crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. And you're gonna just join with a slip stitch to the very beginning. Grab your scissors and you're just going to fasten off. And now is when you just take the time to tuck in and weave in all your loose yarn. But that is the end. Look how pretty those colors look. I'm I think I might have to make me a scarf in this or maybe some arm warmers. I love the design. Super simple. This is a great beginner um, pattern to use. Um, let's tuck in those yarns. I've tucked. I grabbed my kindergarten scissors. Believe it or not, they're super sharp. So 
So now everything's tucked in. I got my coffee ready to go. I've been sipping on it while I've been crocheting. And there you have it. Super pretty, super easy. Thank you all for watching and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I do upload regularly. And if you have a suggestion, let me know. Bye-bye.